In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you when you would want to use SmartBlend in Twixter and why you would want to use this option. SmartBlend is an option that gives better results on a pan or zoom or other footage where objects or parts of objects are entering or exiting the frame. When this option is off on such shots, you might get pixels that smear or drag at the edge of the frame. When turned on, this option can produce much better blending when objects are moving off screen. This option will increase the calculation time and is only necessary on certain shots, like shots with pans or zooms that are greater than 5%. So that's why I keep referring to it as an option. In the following examples, the controls may look a bit different, but the settings do exactly the same thing in your host application. Let's first see this shot that pans off screen. Since this tutorial is for multiple applications, I'm going to start off at the point that you've already started your project and added Twixter. Now we can adjust Twixter's parameters. We have also previously changed the speed percentage to 10 to slow it down by a factor of 10. I'm going to show a comparison of this shot rendered without Smart Blend on the left and with Smart Blend on the right. You can see on the lower right corner of the one labeled No Smart Blend that the objects seem to get warped off the screen. The image on the right with Smart Blend has a much better result. Now we can see how to turn on Smart Blend. We just go back to the Smart Blend option and check the box. Remember, depending on your application, the menu might look a little bit different. Now let's look at Smart Blend with forward warping. Note that not all versions of our products have the forward option. The inverse warping method is the same as using Twixter without forward warping, and the extra option you may have is forward warping, which can give better results when slowing down by more than three times and you see a ghosting with the inverse warping. While this produces a better result within the image with forward warping, you will need to use the Smart Blend option if you use forward warping and you see cross-dissolving artifacts at the edges. You can see for this shot, forward warping is a better method. So, to recap, Smart Blend in Twixter is a great option if you're retiming your shot and you have images panning off the screen. 